Hey everybody, it's John DePietro. I'm here with Galen Bailey and we are at Bailey's Resort in the great state of Maine, and to be more specific, Scarborough, yep. adjacent to... Old Orchard Beach. O-O-B. Yeah, O-O-B, that's okay. right. So we should do this in French, huh? Right, we. We. But I, th I know we and no and como tali vous, and that's about all I know in French. Yeah. But you know what? Camping season is back, and um, you've got your big crowd this week. Uh, I noticed when people were seeing each other for the first time down at, at Little River, they were uh, excited to see friends. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a very, very positive vibe. People are happy to get out, go camping, uh, do it responsibly, see friends from last year that they always see every year. And, you know, it's been a delayed uh, welcoming, but but they're here now. Yep. What did they say? A dream delayed is not denied. So, you know what? Instead of mid-April or mid-May, they're uh, mid-June. But um, that really speaks volumes about the amount of repeat business that you have because, um, you know, when you run this, you have no you have no guarantee that the person's going to come back next year. And yeah, absolutely not. You know, it's all about the the quality product you put out and the and the good family vibe and atmosphere that you that you do. And uh, you know, I see th uh, third generation people here now that their grandparents started with with my grandparents back in right, the seventies, yeah. and now uh, you know they, the third generations here with the fourth generation. They're they're having kids, so it's a it's a awesome thing to see. Well, the other interesting thing I noted is you said family business. Um, there are a lot of campgrounds now that are not, they're corporate. Yep. And, uh, you know, I think you, there is a difference in the feel. Absolutely difference in the feel. And we hear it from customers, too. Uh, you know, more and more of them are being bought up in OOB. And uh, they're, they're coming up here to check us out because they, they, they really want to keep that family feel. Hey, ball, 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 ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'll, give, I'll, I'll pass it back to you. See, I just wanted to show that. This is, we're real life people, this is not a virtual background. <laughs> and we have real life people here, watch, I'm gonna throw this ball into the pool. No, I won't. <laughs> so, ADD kicked in, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. But one thing I noticed when I was down at the Little River Complex, yep. your dad, who's yep. running the show right now, along yep. with you, um, although you're becoming the face of the business now because, um, you yeah, he, he likes me to, videos. yeah, he likes me to do a little bit more of the, uh, the video chatting. Okay, so he came in about 1.30, or so, yep. and he worked that room like he was running for governor of Maine. Right. You know? <laughs> Which maybe he should. <laughs> I mean, maybe he should. Hey, we might have we might have breaking news right here. Tom <laughs> Bailey for Maine. Okay, Tom Bailey, won't you please run for mayor? Not mayor for uh, governor. What do you call it? Governor. Uh, yeah. So he he made the rounds of that pool, and hardly there was hardly any family that he didn't stop and say hello to. Yep. Yep. Why why would he even waste time doing that? It's a gigantic amount of appreciation we're trying to show our customers and, and uh, believing in us, um, you know, being in the, the family destination that, that we always are for them. And, and uh, we're happy that we're finally able to get back open and provide that for them. And, and I said waste time. It really yeah. shouldn't. Why would he spend that time doing that? Uh, yeah, yeah. You he's know, just he's thing. just saying thank you to everyone. You know, we, we, we booked entertainment uh, for this weekend uh, as another piece of gratitude towards our customers yeah. just to we say a great job yeah did a great just to job. say thank you for coming out saxophone and yeah guitar yeah and yeah they're great guys so um as we look around here we see the big arena behind yep. us here yep um hopefully this summer there'll be some activity in it. what normally goes on there Gabe? this is where we have our nightly entertainment uh so we have anything from bands to hypnotists to fire breathing jugglers um karaoke fire breathing holy oh holy yeah holy. yeah big swords knives yeah, yeah, it's uh, quite quite a great place, and um, we're expected to have our uh, our band, uh, our uh, new Coos band there next Saturday. So we're planning on having entertainment for Father's Day okay, weekend. Because I heard that you're having Keith Urban on Fourth of July. <laughs> and then, uh, somebody, <laughs> only kidding, folks. So don't be coming up here expecting to see Keith Urban. Yeah. But this facility over here, the the new dining area, yes. is. Uh, I know Bob got a little shot of that before, but um, we went through it before. And you know what? The prices are ridiculously low. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, we, we, we try to provide a, a really good product at a, at a fair price. You know, people people like staying here and not having to travel downtown and deal with traffic or yep. anything like that. So yep. we, we try to provide the best experience. Which was them. another question. It seems as though you have the capability to, once you land here, you really don't have to leave. Yeah, right? I mean, so I hear from families saying that they'll they'll be in here for five days straight without even leaving, and and you know the beach is only a half mile away, which is a great bonus for everyone too. Yep, yep. exactly. Yep. So that's the story. Tell everybody where we are and how people can find out about reservations. Yeah, this is Bailey's Camping Resort in Scarborough, Maine. 
Uh, check us out on baileysresort.com. You can see us on Facebook as well. Uh, and uh, you can book on there or give us a call anytime.